it had to be fun last week watching your team compete. Well, it was fun. I mean, obviously it was painful to get behind like we did, but, you know, we found a way in the second half to get them stopped. We found a way to score points, and then we were able at the very end there to uh, take the lead, and then uh, you never know. We played it right down to the very end, and we were fortunate to win the game. All right, first play of the third quarter, right? <coughs> Evan Ingram gets the touchdown, now setting you, up a two-point conversion. The decision to go for two, obviously, you right. need to get points. So right. you get it here, Coach, and obviously – when you see, man, there are some different things you can do. Can you show us a right. little bit what happened? Well, the, the setup for this was, so we were going for two. We tried to get it to a two-score game to ten points. And what you'll notice here, the setup of this play is, is that they had a tendency that when we were in 21 personnel, uh, they were going to play man. And so what we do is, is we put the running back outside. If you're in man, then typically a linebacker or a safety is going to go out and cover. If that was the case, which happened here, then we were going to bring him back in and run this play, which was a pick route. If the corner was out there and it was zone, then we would have brought him back in and, and ran his own play. So, so that's the initial setup, setup of this play. So with Wayne outside, then we know it's man. We bring him back in, and then we execute the play. So then what we tried to do here is it's just a classic pick route. We're trying because we know it's man. The design of this play is such now where we're going to run Penny to the corner. All right, we're going to run the tight end in the flat. All right, so if for some reason they got picked off here, that would be Dan's first look. And then what we were trying to do then is rub from the backside, so we we're going to bring X over the top and then bring Shep underneath. So ultimately, with all that mess happening, what Dan knows is I got good six-man protection, and so then if, if there's a pickup for the back, he'll block his guy. Otherwise, he'll get right in the middle. So through all those lines, this is where Dan's looking. He's looking here or here first, and then really looking all the way back here. And so that's how it got set up. They accommodated us by bringing pressure and playing man. So you'll notice here out in the flat, they do a good job of covering out here. So that's dead. So then Dan's immediate thought is just to hold it off and hit shut coming on the rub route. And so, you know, it played out the right way. It's what we expected. Good execution, and it allowed us to get two points. Yeah, that made it 28-18, one play into the third quarter. Now we're going to go to the other side of the ball now and talk about Ryan Connolly comes up with an interception, but there's a little bit more to it than just the interception. No doubt. So, so obviously Tree got hurt, and, and so Connolly was playing next to Tree. At this part of the game, now he's playing the position that Tree would play. So for him to be able to do that as a rookie, number one, was very good, and that's part of his charm. You know, he's very smart, very instinctive. You'll notice here... Uh, we're, try we're bluffing a pressure. We're going to get to kind of a three-deep look. You'll notice that Ryan drops off in the coverage. We have vision on the quarterback. We get good pressure as we go through this. And then you'll notice that when you're playing zone, interceptions typically show up as tip balls or overthrows. So right here, we're in great shape, right? we got sort of a three-deep zone, right? Ryan has good vision on the quarterback. You'll notice here... Jameis gets a little bit of pressure, right? He's forced to step up. Just that little, even though we didn't get the sack, that little bit of pressure we got right there causes him to step up. There's an errant throw. He's got vision on the ball, does a good job of catching it and then returning it for a few yards. Now, when you get to the, the close-up of this, Coach, if you let it run, you'll see the timing of the quarterback is totally thrown off just by the pocket collapsing on him because it's not a great throw, but it's because he had to accelerate Right. To get something done here. You'll see on the outside there. So we get pressure here. We get pressure here. And really, when you talk about six-man protection, which you're in here, with all these walk-ups and the potential of pressure, that creates a little chaos for him, which speeds up his clock a little bit. Then they drop out and play zone. And then now his clock is sped up. We get good pressure. And that forces the overthrow. So as you watch it from this end, again, when you're playing zone, the interceptions come when balls are tipped or the quarterback overthrows it. Again, good vision, good understanding of the route concept with the shallow cross and the out route. He's in great position. Jameis has to step up. Just that little bit there from X-Man, as you, as you mentioned, Carl. That's the kind of stuff that we need because that has a big effect on the quarterback. And then he overthrows the ball. Ryan does a good job of intercepting it. Well, you look at the opponent, and they're 0-3 team, but they're not playing as bad as people think they are. You cut on the film, there's offensive plays there to be had. There's some defensive plays that didn't go their way. 
that were very close. So this is not a team you should take lightly. Well, we're not a team that should take anybody lightly, right. certainly. But, but I would say this. They tried to do all the right things against Chicago. Unfortunately, the pressure got to them. But they had guys running free. Uh, the route concepts were good. Jay Gruden does an excellent job with the quarterbacks. So they're going to be ready to go on offense. And then on defense, they're very opportunistic as well. You know, they had some things go against them. They had some short fields. They had those, those types of things that happened in, in last week's game. But this is a team that can win, and we got to really be on top of our game. Coach, we appreciate you breaking it down and sharing some of the knowledge. All right, Bob. Hey, Giants fans. Jabril Peppers here. Want to be the first to see Giants videos? Subscribe now.